that. Yes, true. Oh, man. TK my, Chris versus Suarez. They came favorite, all this way. Yeah. My favorite fact uh, is that Finnish accents sound exactly like Minnesotans. Yeah, that's where it, it comes really from. Does. A lot of, a lot yep. of Nor Norwegian, Swedish, Scandinavian people come from there. Because they're like, hmm, this place is cold and desolate. Reminds me of home. <laughs> anyway, yeah. uh, let's talk about this game right here. Ooh, this is actually, in my opinion, a really fun matchup. And I say that as a Yoshi player. Yeah. Um, not fun because you just like stomp all over Ness. No, it's fun because it is ridiculously even. Both of you kind of do the things that you want to, and you just like have to deal with your opponent's nonsense too. Yep. Yeah, no, it's it's like a not super cheesy matchup. Uh, it doesn't feel super swingy. It's just players out neutraling each other. I mean, it's the out neutral aspect, but also like the combo game. Both these guys can combo yeah. each other decently, but not ridiculously. It's not like you're going to be carrying somebody to, you know, 100% and off stage and kill them. But like, ooh, there's also a lot of sort of knowledge checks on both sides in the matchup. Like for instance, Yoshi's double jump bomber eats through so many of Ness's aerials, up air, forward air. Um, you know, PK fire, he just like eats right through it. Yeah, for sure. And uh, there you actually see a fantastic job on that juggle, going all the way up there and meeting him at the ceiling. Suarez with a bit of a lead that disappears in an yeah. instant. And you know, like Yoshi's, Yoshi can pressure Ness when he's up high like that, right? He can put him up high and then pressure him when he's up high to force him into a frame trap situation where he either has to air dodge through something or not. And, and it's sort of like a 50-50 where he gets called out. Suarez is gonna be on top of that and like force the 50-50 as often as he can. And he just got a stock for it right there. Um, I think. I think uh, earlier this year there was there was a there was a storyline going on of Suarez simply could not beat PK Chris. Right? They're from the same region, highly ranked in Long Island, both of them. And there was a season where where Suarez was just like. Well, I mean, PK Chris was just like beating infinity, everybody right? that season. Also, PK Chris was just like. He was, there was something in the Long Island water that yeah. he, he found. That's why the bagels taste so good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> bagels unpopular good opinion. Long Island well. bagels are the worst bagels in lower New York. <laughs> lower New York? <laughs> better than Westchester bagels better? Well, no, Westchester, West, we're, not, we're not lower. Yeah, yes, well, actually, yes. New York's pretty big, and we are like in the lower 5% of it by geographic area, probably. Yeah, exactly. But, you know, whatever, yeah. I, I, yeah. You got New York, New Jersey. I like New Jersey bagels, South Jersey. Ew. South Jersey bread, man. I'm telling you, it's good. Wow, like these these two are just uh, they're just going toe to toe. Like they are they are so evenly matched. Yeah, but I will point out that Suarez, both of the kills he's gotten have been from up airs. You know, yep. lead like putting Chris in the air and then killing him just with a proper read. And yeah. if. PK Chris is able to play around that a little bit more. Yoshi might actually find himself struggling to kill. Oh, yeah. look at this right now. The problem is, like, the nest doesn't have that much mix-up when he's above Yoshi, right? Like, he doesn't, yes. He's got air uh, dodge and, like, do nothing. Um, and maybe maybe some stalling with the magnet, maybe an aggressive option, but his hitboxes are stubbier than Yoshi's, and, and but that'll often trade. Um, and below him, they're stubbier. Besides yeah. that, he kind of, you know, he actually, from the sides, and above has really yeah. solid disjoints. The, the back air, the back air disjoint would be helpful. Ooh, nice parry, idiot! Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you tell him. <laughs> oh, with a dash grab going all the way through, and he's forced to up below. Yeah, wants to get that two frame, but doesn't find it. He was seeing. He watched that set with Jen, and he knows that Swan loves to go for Eggle when the opponent's at the ledge. Yeah, for sure. I mean, the Eggle is just like oh. having having that command grab that you can use in the air. You can be reverse it. It just leaves you so many great options to, to cover defensive options for yeah, players. Yeah, exactly. Especially because when you're in the corner, you want to be shielding to begin right. with. The you corner is a scary place. You don't have any room to drift back. And if you get hit, you're off stage immediately. Yep. And so, off stage is like a bad position, right? Like Yoshi wins the juggle situations up and uh, those situations off stage. Like Ness off stage versus Yoshi, less, uh, more intensely in Yoshi's favor than Yoshi off stage versus Ness. I would um, say. Yes, it also depends on how much knowledge the Ness has in the matchup. Yeah. There are a lot of things Ness can do to make Yoshi getting to the ledge really annoying. Yeah. Um, at the same time, funnily enough, I feel like you, Ness off stage might actually be a better position for him than above Yoshi. I would, I would agree like, with that. He still yeah. has hitboxes that he can, like you were saying before, above Yoshi doesn't really have the sort of things he can, you know, throw out. But off stage, he does have forward air. He does have, you know. Ways to at least deter Yoshi from going out there to meet him. And he's got enough mix-up with the air dodge, um, as long as he's got his jump, right? 
Um, yeah. And he's basically, so Suarez is going to have to hit the two frame if he really wants to take advantage of him off stage, um, which is hard. Yeah. Yoshi, by the way, gets out of uh, PK Fire so easily. Just by jumping, right? Uh, not only just by jumping, but because of his like, weird gravity, he just like can SDI it, and then he just is out of it. Wow. And then he jumps, and he's just gone. Oh, because he's a super floaty. He's yeah. super floaty, and he's heavy. It's a, it's a kooky combination. Yep. Fun fact, do you know that Yoshi is as heavy as Captain Falcon? I, I you know, I didn't know that specifically, but I knew that Yoshi is quite heavy, yes. um, as is Captain Falcon. Makes sense. He's Same a weight as Link, too. Uh, that I'm surprised about. I thought Link was lighter, but... No, Link's heavy. Link's as heavy as Captain Falcon. Ooh. These two, these two, just, they're, they're so neutral heavy, you know, their interactions. Is that slingshotting? Oh, maybe. Okay, yeah, honestly, this is another reason why I do like this matchup is because there is so much neutral that does yeah. go on between the two. Oh, but and look these two are that. They're so comfortable empty moving around each other to wait for an option um, and, and then capitalizing when they get the right thing. Ooh, almost got him with that, but that, I, I would have killed. I don't know. That's a little bit of a kooky situation. That's great awareness there, right? Like the, that he could just down B through that PK flash and hit him um, and then get the call out on the defensive option while he's in the air. Yeah, but right. neutral get upping right into the. Uh, ooh, Dan, yeah, you can see like when Ness has Yoshi off stage, it doesn't this, like it, if he manages to take his jump, it's miserable for Yoshi. But yeah. until he does that, Yoshi sure. has so many options to get back. I mean, Yoshi without the jump off stage is bad in even in the best. There's some matchups where it's worse than others, and this is definitely but one like, of the harder matchups to deal with if you lose your jump. Yeah, it's like down tilt of the legs, you can fire. This, the the movement like it's a, again a neutral option right the move they they just move around each other so effectively and like bait each other into thinking their movement is going to be one thing and then have it be another thing yeah. and like that's the story of the matchup is the player the player who guesses the movement option of the other player effectively deals so much damage for it and yeah. gets stocked for it that was so smart dropping shield and recognizing down smash a lot of like yeah. worse players would have gone for a neutral there you know quickest right. option but he knows how much time he has and dropping shield into down smash is what got him the kill. It's what's keeping him alive in this game right now. Only 25% yeah. separating them and we're back to this neutral situation where movement is king. Yeah, movement's king. Uh, double parry! Oh, I love, everybody loves a double parry, right? That's super hype. Ness gonna poke with like the, the projectile option, but we're not seeing as many eggs. Um, and I guess, I guess, <gasps> I'm I don't know if it's Okay, you did touch the ground. Right. Oh, wow. Getting hit by that is a big game. Like that, yeah. Because he, he got hit by that, put into disadvantage state, and then and then ready to be called out. Wow, he's just trying to empty land on him. Uh, it's twice in a row now, so yeah, yeah, well, he mixes up now and he gets back to stage well, four. The thing is he's throwing out that down smash, I believe, at a range that also covers going to ledge. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's clever. And, and it, it just covers a lot of options, right? Um, yeah, but OK. Suarez oh, is alive right here. Oh, oh that's dead. wow, he missed that egg, and he got absolutely shafted for it. Well, the thing is, he read the drift away. Yeah. You know, normally in that situation when you're getting comboed by Yoshi, you're going to want to drift right. away. You don't want to be anywhere near that tail. Yeah, absolutely. But he went for the mix-up because he was at lower percent and he could take a little bit more risk. He drifted in. That egg completely whiffed ah, and he got the up air. Yeah. Right. And, and he was rewarded for it. Um, and he was completely aware of, of the punishability of that missed egg since he was closer to Yoshi and he capitalized on it very effectively. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm excited to see how things will go. This is two games up for PK Chris. Suarez needs to clean up his play real fast. Yeah. And the parries. These parries have just been coming out so consistently from PK Chris. And it means that all of Yoshi's stuff, which is normally so juicy and safe, yeah. not quite so much anymore. It, 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 it's feeling like Suarez is is landing ineffectively, right? Like we we saw those two we saw those two yo-yos. <gasps> dead. Did he lose his jump? He yeah. lost his jump. His we jump got taken. We saw those two yo-yos last stock uh, uh, on the last game, and then he's just sort of like PK Chris is catching him with parries when he lands on him aggressively, um, and he and he's not getting baited by it when he lands on him empty. Yeah. Um, PK Chris is Honestly, just sort of getting out. Suarez not going for nearly as much egg lay as I would think, especially considering he's getting parried so much. The spacing on that, yeah. holy boy. Uh, he almost got hit by that. I, I would have I would have bet money he would get hit by that. 
That's um, a good. I mean, I, I like it, right? Like he's he's down here by a full stock. Yeah, he, he, he needs. It a, was also great awareness from PK Chris, knowing the one option that would get him killed. Right. So and it's not like going for even it. if he read the tech in the other direction, he's just gonna get like a nair. Yeah. What is he? Gonna, like, it's like dash grab, dash attack. Yeah. Like, hey, There's yeah. just nothing you can do there that that will kill. So yeah, you take the thing. Suarez doing the right thing. PK Chris doing the right thing. Like it's just the caliber of these players to go for to go for what will well, kill. I mean, it's like kind it. of the that's the thing is like it's the counterplay of knowing that yeah. there's only one option that can get you killed. Then Suarez. Maybe will, you know, if he respects his opponent, will then try and get as much damage as possible. Oh. Yeah. Good awareness. Yeah. Good awareness of the that shield was, punish there. The shield is dark, though. Yeah, the shield is. The shield is very dark. But he's probably recovered enough of it now that it's not an issue anymore. Oh yeah, no, the shields regenerate so quickly. Yeah, game. just just the spacing, like swinging a little too much. Like they were doing their neutral gameplay where they move around, and Suarez got a little impatient. It felt like there, yeah. um, and and he got a little punished for it. Um, but it's you know. It's hard. It's hard to maintain that same patience when you're behind a full stock. Yeah, and this is game three. Game three when you've already been yeah. taken out two games in a row. Yep. And Suarez, once again, trying to look at the movement. This is like yeah. one of those matchups. I feel like most matchups, people don't actually try to move around the way that these guys yeah. are doing. And for as long as they do with, yeah. without throwing out options. Um, but they're, they're just giving each other a lot of respect. Um, and, and PK Chris is, is getting his percent on this stock by sort of just running away oh. in anticipation. That yeah, he didn't down hurt off that. He was like, I was talking before about how, oh, the parries have been so good from PK Chris. So Suarez went from empty land into grab, but PK Chris was able to react with a down tilt. Yeah, because he's, he's drop shield in anticipation of a parry, but then when he doesn't get it, he's throwing out a quick option to cover the cover the grab to cover the the grab option too. Yeah, and so I feel like Eggly is probably the right call in those particular situations because you don't have to. Oh, oh that was super great smart, awareness. Super smart. I mean, it was also probably the last, like the first possible. Oh wow! Yeah, just uh, just a little yeah. too much swinging uh, in the corner from Suarez there. That that last that last game, it just felt like a lot of a lot of whiffed swings got got punished quite effectively by PK Chris, and it just didn't happen quite as much the other way.